Lights, camera, and everybody. In and on. What's good, y'all? What's good? So, the topic of today. What are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? It's really hot, but y'all yeah, bear with us. The topic of the day is corporal punishment. So, firstly, before this video starts, I want y'all to fill out the survey on corporal punishment. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, I just in, the, <laughs> that's in the description. Real. And also in the pinned comment section. So this survey is a survey um, from the University of the Bahamas, right? So this survey is basically talking about corporal punishment. Like, do you think it's right to beat your children? And how do you, uh, how were you beaten as a child? And stuff like that. And, you know, we're we going to discuss our different point of views. Because I already know that we have different point of views on this topic. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, everybody should know what corporal punishment is. Cut, and for those of you that don't cut know. A, cut A. It's discipline. You never say cut A. So the first question is to participate. You must be 18 or older. Are you 18? Oh, no. I'm far from that. I'm okay. a granddad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Never mind. Oh. So y'all make sure to fill out the survey, please. I am a citizen of the Bahamas and live in the Bahamas. Yes. Okay. Overall, do you approve of hitting children as a means of punishment? Yes or no? I'm going to have to say yes because I think that if you spare the rod, no, if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. So I think that... Why is this good? Because I think that we're going we're to have a live interview. Check it out to see if you see, see. Check it out. Yeah, so if you spare the rod, you spare... If you spare the rod, you spoil the child. And I think the child needs to get a good cut up and a good punishment. You anyway. actually believe you think I would actually do so, that to you as my best friend? You think I would do that to you? Yes. Wow. People are, people no are very, people are as very. As much as I love her, no fate in me. You will Go swear ahead. for people and they'll mess you over. Yeah, they, they will. Because I had good friends mess me over. I had, I wouldn't even go there, but I had close friends mess me over, talked about me in groups. We're, we're here to talk about couple punishment. So, yes, yes. Do you think a couple yes. punishment is okay. needed? Go ahead. Overall, do I approve of hitting children as a means of punishment? No, I don't approve. You know why? Talk to me. Firstly, right? Okay. Beating your child is temporary. Yeah, they're going to be scared. Oh, I'm going to get cut up. But guess what? They're going to go right back and do the same devious things. And guess what? They're going to hate you, honestly, because you beat them. So they're not going to care. Like, they're going to actually become more aggressive. And they already know what's coming once they do something bad. So they just used to you beating them. And beating them, and what are you getting out of that? Okay, the, let me ask you. You're getting them scared for two seconds. Okay, cut so, up and, okay so let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Why? Okay, I'm gonna speak there for are, myself. There, no, there no. are more questions that you will have to give that answer to. That's why I keep it short. Because, okay, because I just yeah, want, I want to put something gonna... in real quick because I want to say, okay, why me as a person? Uh -huh. I wouldn't go out there and commit a crime because I don't want to be locked up in, in a cell, right? But, so I'm afraid but of that. Corporal punishment and beating a child has nothing to do with a criminal. Okay, well, it has something to do with it, criminal it, it activity. Does, but, Guess why? Ahead. Because do you know that actually beating your children and uh, beating them to the point where you're abusing them could lead to, to them becoming criminals? We're going to talk about that in a minute. Next so, question. how acceptable to you is each of the following actions? Beating a child with a belt hand stick or other hard object um from one to five one is agreeing and the the higher it is the mm. more you agree with it the lower it is the less you agree with it so do you agree or disagree with beating a child with belts your hands sticks and hard objects i would have to go lower on that the lower i agree but i'd say belts because i don't believe in rope sticks and and objects that come to your hand i think a belt is is, is a belt a belt or the hand that's okay, my, that's but for me, I disagree. Two. I don't think you should beat a child at all. Oh, you don't? No. Wow, okay. Spanking a child's rare. How do you feel about that? Spanking a child on the, on the rare? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you should tear up that rare. You no. should tear that right up. See, me, even if you hit a child on the rare, how I feel is it shouldn't be like a, you know, like just a little top. Be like, relax, you See, know? See, that's the problem. That's why the kids no, are all, no, no, gonna, no, That's no, why no, no, they're no. always going to embarrass you no, when they go in public. because the children that got beaten at a, at a set, trust me, y'all are going to y'all are gonna see my point in a minute because beating a child is not effective. Every single child in this Bahamas, I could say, a lot of them will get beat. And guess where you see them? In where? prison, Jones's selling. Anyway, you can see why. Well, money has to make. That's you, a different you, topic, you, though. You, 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 you can see why. Trust me, because... Hitting a child doesn't do nothing. If you rear your child in a way that 
you teach them like people everybody grows their child up differently if i grow my child up to be respectable right and the way that i punish them is i'm taking away your xbox trust me that's an effective means of punishment believe it or not if you take away my phone i think that would really do something to me well, I, I could agree with you on that. That's, you know, that's different. Take away something that they the, really, really right. like. You don't I want to what you're abuse saying. a child. You could literally just take away something from them. So now this next one say, slapping a child face, hair, or head, or air. I think slapping is... No, I don't yes, like slapping. Yes, I don't think you I would, should I be slapping, slapping, slapping a child. child. No. And then it says slapping a child on the arm or leg. It depends on how hard you slap them because if I go like this... I would say, hey, relax. That's a, that's, that's a little top. I could agree with that. But if you... Okay, let's you start know, agreeing that. I can't okay, agree. Okay. See? You don't want someone to do that to you, right? And imagine an innocent child that just dropped a battery on the floor. You know? Anyway. Okay. Pulling that's... a child's air. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that, 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 I think that hurts. That's, that's, that hurts. Yes, that's I, something. That's just like pinching. Because if you pinch me, I just want... Come here and stop clowning on this road, yeah? Don't, 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 don't pinch me. I hate that. Play, like, wow. Like... I think I'd run out, but that is hurt. Okay. Yelling or screaming at a child, no. Well, it depends on what you do, because I, I, I might be able to yell at you. I if you don't sit your, I will. I will not, not relax. I think a lot of parents do that out of anger, and they don't actually mean it afterwards. But yelling or screaming at a child, no way. Okay. It's other ways. Okay. Threatening to leave or abandon a child, that is definitely something that you should not do. Well, you shouldn't make it if you want to try to leave it or abandon you should, it. You should definitely tr not threaten to leave or abandon the child out of anger because you don't know how that makes them feel. You don't know what they might take. They might think that you don't care about them and then they start doing malicious acts, you know? Understandable. How, how acceptable to you is each of the following actions? Okay. Taking away a child's privileges to teach them a lesson. Okay. I totally agree. There's no harm in that. Okay. No harm. Because I like my phone. If I was a child and you take that away from me, I, I'd straighten up. Exactly. Yeah, because that's, so that's there's, something I really So there's no like. harm in that. That's, that's a very effective means of punishment. Okay. Calling a child stupid, lazy, and similar. Mm. No. Okay. Why disagree? Why? People can... You can literally... If somebody is weak-minded, you could literally have them thinking that they are what, what, what you call them, especially coming from a parent... Imagine your parent calling you stupid. You would believe that that you're stupid because well, I I I, 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 I I think that's what they used to call my ex, and yeah. I think she really is. But anyway, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, that's that's something you shouldn't tell a child. You, sh you, sh you shouldn't be telling a child that they they stupid. Like you literally discouraging them from a lot of stuff. Praising a child for good behavior. That's Hell great. yes. That's great. I definitely agree for that now because now they know. Listen. If I know that if I do good, I can get this or my people's going to be proud of me. I'm going to continue push and try to do good. Guess why? I get you want that praise. That, that right. makes you feel good. That makes, that you, makes feel you feel good. Yeah, okay. So that's another way. Sexual abuse of a child. Gunshot to the head. Anybody who do that to their child. Gunshot to the head. Sick way. Gunshot to the head. We ain't going there. That's so wrong. Grabbing and shaking a child. Really? Well, it depends on how no. hard the shake is. No. Because, watch this. You want me to do this to you? Does that make you comfortable? No, it does exactly. not. Exactly. So, why do it to a child and you are a grown person? I'm a child. But go ahead. Using yeah. corporal punishment on a disabled special needs child. Oh, no, 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 now no, Now, you no, got to no. be really sick in yeah. the head. You have to be, re yeah, yeah. You got to really be sick in the inhumane. head. That's inhumane. That's literally taking advantage and a lot, I know that don't only happen to, to children. I know that's happened to old people a lot. Yeah. Y'all need, y'all need prayers, boy. Pinch a child. Boy, pinching no, pinching is, is too hard. Know. Yeah, pinching is hurt. Boy, I don't even like to get pinches as an adult, boy, so I'm not going to agree with the pinching. Pinching, yeah, boy. Mm -mm. Based on your knowledge, what if any are the results of using physical punishment? Okay. Uh, what if? Or are the results of using physical punishment? Does using physical punishment make a child stop the unwanted behavior? Well, Period. it depends. I think, I think, I think, I think it, it still depends on the, the child itself. So I, I can't really... It's how you raise the child, actually. Yeah, I really can't answer that you question. Know, you know why I'd say no? Because why? how much times you didn't get cut up for doing the same thing? Or how much times you didn't get cut up on the whole? 
think about it. So that mean you didn't stop. You only stop because you know you was going to get caught up in that moment. But you're not going to stop because that's something that you did. You enjoyed doing that. Okay. Then I stop you. You get one slap and you're like, aha, I go on okay. right back. You know? The child will never repeat the unwanted behavior. Really. Really. If you think hitting your child could stop them from doing something, you're retarded. How do you feel about that? I think some child, some children just need to get kicking their, you know what, and slapping their head and probably wow. may act right. I hope that he, he doesn't ever get a child because... No, I'm going to love my child. People that actually have children know that that, that beating them don't work, you know. Well, I if just I have a child, I don't, I don't like, think I'm going to want to beat my child. I just child. think they like to do it, especially to show off in the front of people. You were ready, you were ready for the most part of this child life, right? Okay. Slapping them up and they back and doing all of this stuff, and then you expect... When they go out in public, they behave, and you then grow them up into that violent nature. And then when they grow up hitting on other people's children, you realize, oh, this is what I taught my child because all I teach them at home was, don't play with me. Stop their garbage. You see what I'm saying? Let them! <clears throat> the child learns the good and the bad. Well, I can I can't agree for that one because I feel like if you beat a child, right? Mm -hmm then they would know that obviously they did something wrong for you to be beating them. Okay. But you but 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 beating them is not a way to help them to learn the good and the bad. Okay. You see they saying you could other ways to that produces only a short term effect. Okay. Does beating them produce a short term effect? Uh uh in some cases I'd say yeah, in some cases I'd say no. But, because I mean, I used to take uh, some cut ass as a child, mm -hmm. and some of the stuff... Stop cursing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm so ghetto. I used to take a lot of cut up as a child, mm -hmm. and I think, it, I think it steered me into the right direction. No, but did you stop? No, I didn't stop doing exactly. a lot of things. Exactly, exactly, that's the question. That I, means I'm still going to do what I exactly. want to do. Exactly, so that uh, means that it's only a short-term effect, because you didn't stop. You, you stopped because you're going to get cut up, and guess what? You uh, end up getting cut up again for that same thing. Okay. Short term. You older okay. now. Immediate physical health problems such as injuries, bruises, and fractures from corporal punishment. I think I think they need to be jailed for that. Yes. So, I agree that 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 people get suffer those stuff because if you hit a child too hard, you expect them not to get bruised. Yeah. Come on, man. I think a lot of I think a lot of parents hit their child because of. Depressed, they're, they're depressed. Yeah, they're they take all that anger out on them, them yeah. And there's even been some mothers that'll beat their child because them and the, them and the, them and the baby daddy or the boyfriend mm -hmm. relationship going through, through, yeah. through, through problems. I agree. Yeah, and like, I, I've seen right. that. Like, trust me, my okay. I have a dog. Okay. My dog has done a lot of stuff, like bite up my headphones, my Apple headphones. Yeah, I remember that day I came. Right, he was angry. I was okay. angry. I could have just strangle her. Ugh. But then you have to realize that you still love them. And then at the end of the day, it's like, don't act in the moment. Don't act right away after something has happened. Act after the act. Like, because when you act in the moment and you angry, mm -hmm. you don't, who knows what you might do? You see what I'm saying? Long-term physical health problems such as changes in the development of the brain and long-term physical impairments. Can't beat the child cause those stuff. Physical health problem, development in the brain. I agree. You think so? Yes. Must be love of the brain. Let me tell you why, right? Okay. So, think about it like this. Like I was saying, you hit your child so much, you get them used to that aggressive nature. Okay. And then your child go ahead and do that same thing to their child. Okay. Or your child end up in a criminal later on in life because they so used to this violent behavior and this abuse in the home okay. that they take it elsewhere. So you think that, so, so in other words, you're saying that it could be a generational it can, yes, thing. Yes, it can, it can impact the child in the future because that's what they, that was, that was, that's how they was reared, you know? Was reared or raised? Reared. Reared. Why reared? Reared. Why is that? Reared is the same thing like how you were raised. 
Well, raised. Let's, let's use word raised because I think more people understand the word raised. Okay, only my anyway intelligent yeah. people would know. Yeah, and the, the word UBs. Rare. We don't go to UBs. Rare. We go to trappies where how, we make the trap money. How the child? How the children were reared? Right. Okay. So, based on your knowledge, what if mm -hmm. are the results of using physical punishment? Difficulties in dealing with other people. I agree. Uh, you ever see a bad, bad child? Yeah. And guess why they bad? Because why? I had some, some, some cousins that were bad. Mm -hmm. Because their parents is be beating on them so much. And they's beat on them rough. Okay. So they just, they just became bad because... Pot, pot, pot. And they think that... You know what I don't like? They hit boys more because they feel like... You, as, a, as a nigga, you ain't supposed to cry. Come on. What you mean you ain't supposed to cry? That's a child. You telling a three-year-old man up? Really? Well, okay. That doesn't make no sense. Okay. That's why, that's why a lot of young men are afraid to express their feelings, and that's why you see a lot of them suffering from mental health illnesses and in silence and stuff. Wow. What do you, what do you think happened to that, ba that basketball guy? Mental health issues. Okay. Well, he was rich. I don't know why you have mental health if you're rich. But anyway, that's a different really? topic in itself. I just buy me a car and go find a girl. But go ahead. Okay. So, learning problems versus results in performances uh, in school. Well, I think I, th I think a lot of parents now are finding out that now, if your child is not uh, the smart type, like to say book smart. Mm -hmm. The next best thing is try to have him take up a trade. No, see what the question is. Because he might just be good is, with his hands. Does corporal punishment cause. Cause that? Yes. Learning, learning. Ah. Uh, I can't say. Because I think that even if you get beaten and stuff, that I don't think that takes away if you're smart or anything like that. So it, I, I, I won't what? agree with that. But guess what? you have to say. It does affect a child's learning. You know why? Why is that? Because. Say this is this is how it started off. So it's a chain of events. Okay. You, you get beat by your parents, right? Okay. And then you take that violent nature on other children, right? Okay. And then that violent nature also turns into something else because we are a product of an our environment. In so most we cases, all would yes. be around. Yes. So if we in a home with a bunch of nobodies, not saying that this happens to everybody because some people stand up and they become better, but many fall to the product of their environment. Okay. So they might be smart, but then they end up hanging with the wrong crew when they start slacking on their work. And so, you know, and then a lot of them might have depressive um, mental health issues because we're going on in the home, you know. Okay. Mommy beating me and it, 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 it hurting me, you know. They don't like it. So now they depressed at school and they can't really focus on their work because they know if they, if they miss and slip up, mommy could just kill me or something. Get off the head. You know Clown what I mean? So finding it hard to express feelings in a way that other people can understand. What do you think about that? Finding it hard to express feelings in a way that other people can understand. Yeah, yeah. In a way that other people can. I, I, I think it goes back to the point that you were saying earlier where especially little boys, they don't expect little boys to cry. Right. And I guess that's why a lot of guys don't show emotions. Right. Even in relationships with right. girls, they, the guys are not really that emotional rare, type. Because than females. If, if we being real, females and males are not rare the same. They tell girls, you can't go nowhere. They tell the boys, oh, go out, tell whatever time, you know. And just balance for it, girl, balance for it, girl, whine it. So it says... Finding it hard to express feelings in a way that other people can't understand. Mm -hmm. You know, I gotta agree. I gotta agree. Because, like I say, if they depressed and stuff, they wouldn't... A lot of them will, will become introverts as well. Because they afraid. Okay. They going through a hard time. We are on the red couch right now. Yes. Yeah. Emotional health problems including anxiety, depression, aggression, or even wanting to kill him or herself. You think discipline oh, causes that? Yes, especially, especially those 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 children that get well. Hit see, very I hard. I think there's a difference between discipline and abuse. That type of behavior, I, I could see that coming from abuse, but not discipline. Well, because, because if I'm abusive way you're, parents, you're, you're hitting the child. Yes, but I understand. But pain. but 
I think I think some children are bright enough to know that when you're getting a punishment or when you're getting beaten for something that you did wrong versus abuse versus I come on my anger, I just grab you. Yeah, but sorry, but, yeah. but but either way, getting beaten for doing something or not. But you don't. It's you, still, okay. It's still because I am I am uh -huh. a product of. Trust me. I am speaking based off what I know, and I'm speaking of experience. Okay. So I'm not going to sit there and, and say that it's not possible, because it is. When you, when you hit a child, you don't know like how that hurts. You don't know how that makes them feel. We're not slaves. We're on the red couch, you by know, the way. I feel like it's, it's very wrong. I really don't agree with, with hitting a child by like... I, so let me ask I, you a question. Really don't agree so if your child, you you buck your child out, mm -hmm. your child's cursing, carrying on, acting like a scallywag, a hoodlum, a swang, a peasant's a dog. I would discipline them How? in a different way. There's a lot of different ways of discipline that you could go. So what if your child curses your child? at you? Like, mommy, leave me the f alone. What are you gonna do? You know, you know what you could do. Well, what could you do? You know, you don't beating a child. With no, a but what would you no, do? No, no. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. Beating them. That ain't gonna cost them from stop cursing you. Okay, but yeah, let me have right? what you can do. So either way, any means of punishment that you use. Say I say I take away your phone, right? I take away your phone for now. See? And I don't give you your phone. Listen. Okay. In two weeks, or I put you in a corner, you could go back after you didn't get that and do the same thing to me. And guess what? If I beat you, you go resort to the same behavior again. You see what I'm saying? So it don't matter because well, beating what? a child is uh -huh. not going to stop them from doing that behavior. You even said it yourself, so okay, well, you I sound like one a thing. hypocrite if no, you no, say no, no, that no. ain't no truth. If my child cuts me in public, I can grab that like a pile driver, that, that, that power side of that peasant. You crazy? Wow. You can cut, you can cut. You got to be crazy. And I raise now, you. I'll don't, just, don't show your little funky self off now. I wouldn't hit them. I, I'll take off I my Gucci sandals and voice them in the head. I you wouldn't crazy. hit them, but I would, I would correct them. You cursing at me in front of your little, your little dirty friends? I wouldn't hit them, but I would correct them. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. What do we got next? It's a way to go about it. We're on the red couch, by the way. Emotional health problem. Yes, trust me. That could cost a lot. Mental health is a serious thing. Being more likely to do dangerous things like using drugs or having sex at a very young age. You think mental health causes that? No, it does not have anything with mental oh. health. It's corporal punishment and abuse. Mental health can also. Let's cause not. That, by the way. Let, Trust but, me. But, 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 but what we're trying to do right here on the on this on this on this cast today, right? We're not trying to mix mental. Uh, I mean, abuse with discipline. Those are two different things. Discipline well, and abuse is two different things. Well, it is. both of them are beating someone. Yes, one but is, it's still, one it's is still the different. extremity of beating, right. but, one, but both of them are still beating. But here's what I think is a good thing. It's still beating. If, if, if sometimes so as parents, we can communicate with the child and understand and let them know, exactly. why are we beating them? This is why I'm beating you. This is why I'm beating you. It's not like I'm, I'm beating you for no reason. Hey, I heard you curse someone in school. Wop, wop, wop. That's why I'm beating you. Do, Don't do curse again. Do you know again. that talking to children are effective means? Because if you talk to them, they will understand where you're coming from, and they will also learn from you. Because trust me, I've been there. I didn't experience that. So I understand that when parents talk to you, it's better. I ain't even going to lie because it's like you sit down and you sit there and you're like, wow, I really did that. Mm -hmm. It makes you realize that you did something and it, it makes you feel kind of bad inside because you can't believe you did that and now you realize it wrong. But if they just hit you, it's like, okay, you hit me. I'm going to do it again and then they're going to hit me again and then it's not going to matter. We're on the red couch, by the way. So, yeah. The show has uh, been brought to you being, by the red couch. More likely to the red couch. Like using drugs and it's for sale too yeah. if you want to buy it. Trust the me. Red couch. Yeah. Children who experience violence accept this as normal and mirror the same behavior. I agree. Okay. I agree. Children who are beaten, they they accept it because they that's all they know. That's all they know. Mommy used to beat me. Oh, I could beat my child. I could beat you. Well, you know what a lot of them end up saying too? Mm -hmm. Well, I got a lot of cut up from my mother and that didn't kill me. That well, just made me a better person. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what they say, but... They know that's how they didn't feel when they was in your shoe because nobody liked getting beat. Well, don't do what's wrong. Nobody liked getting beat. I don't, you think people it's like going to prison? It's impossible for people to not do what's wrong. But you think we people are, like going to prison? We are human. We are human. But do you think people like going to prison? Of course not. Okay, so why? But why, guess why, what? Why, they why, getting punished. But guess what? Nobody is going inside that prison cell, taking a stick and whopping them you don't every know that. time. You don't know yeah, that. but that's that's not what that's not what the prison sentence sentence is supposed to be for 
Let me say that because at the end of the day, boy, trust me, children, boy, if all you get, all you do is get beat as a child, right? I sure you will feel like, oh, I endure this pain. You got to endure this too. Well, that's why it all comes down to letting them know why you're, you, you, you're disciplining them. I feel like the world I discipline you though. Because, because I your feel like, youngsters... I feel it, like a lot of young I people... I feel like anybody born after 95, they deserve more than a cutting. They deserve to be choked and power slam. Because nah. the way y'all are raised today... Nah. I well, feel like... If you look at the amount I, of people... I wish a lot of people had the knowledge that I had. I wish people saw the world differently. Because that's where a lot of people is get messed up, and that's why this country will never change. Because so much people are so guided and and um stuck inside the old ways that we cannot we cannot Tear further up we cannot further on as a country because we so stuck in the old traditions and stuff that binding you know like it's literally preventing us from moving on as a country, and that's the reason why we still a third world country, believe it or not. We can't okay. even get monetized. You got a freaking Can we get another question, please? Yeah, I think you're going other. No, why yeah, just being real? Okay. This conversation should be brought to you by the Red Couch. The Red Couch is for sale. When I was a child, children yes, were more di couch. disciplined. Okay. Um, and I agree with that question. too. Um, when, when I was, I was growing child, up as a child, children were more disciplined. Well, we, 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 you we, know why I can't answer that question? Because you didn't grow up in that era? No. Why? You were tired of it, say, when I was a child, not when you was a child. Oh, I can't sorry, answer the question, question to say when I was a child, children were more disciplined. Guess why? I know when I was a child how it was, but I can't speak for now because I'm not a child now to experience what it's like to be a child in 2020. So my opinion would be kind of more Well, to biased. be a child in 2020, I think it's just TikTok. Because I'm not a child in 2020, so I can't say that children were more disciplined. I can only go off, the, off what I see, but I'm not in these children's home to see what's going on. But I do believe that the world is evolving on the whole. On the whole. I feel like the world is evolving. Okay. See what I'm saying? But I know I, I know yeah, cut I up used to be ramping back then. And cut up should still be ramping. Nah. Slapping and spanking a child are effective methods of discipline in a child. I totally disagree. Yeah, I don't believe in slapping. You can get you can get spanking though, but Children not slapping. Children can learn to behave without being spanked or slapped. I agree. Probably if you talk I've to them. It, I've seen it work. But then there, there, there's, some, there's just some rude kids that don't understand Even, the word guess what? stop or... Guess what? So you gotta just some you gotta children, do. you speak to them and they take that knowledge and they put it to work. Some, some. children, you speak to them and they still don't listen. But guess what? Uh -huh. Children, you beat them and they continue to do the same thing because you making it worse. You literally making them hate you instead of speaking to them. So, either way, when you look at it, it ain't a win-win situation. Parents who encourage their children to talk to them develop stronger self-esteem in a child. Oh, I totally agree. I totally agree. I feel like a lot of children don't have good relationships with their parents. A lot of them don't. You see what I saying? It, it, even, it even comes down to when it's time to have dinner at the dinner table. Right. Everyone grabs their food and go in the room. Right. So, parents who encourage their children to talk to them. If you talk to your parent, trust me, I promise you the relationship would be so much better in the fact that you wouldn't even have to beat your child as much. Because they already know your expectations for them. And okay. you all already have such a good relationship. So it's how you raise your child. Raise your child in that type of way. Talk to them regularly. And certain things, they go open up to you and tell them. So that it don't feel to you like they sneaking around. Your, your, your son could come to you. Mommy, I have a girlfriend. You don't have to catch him kissing a girl or nothing like that. Because you all establish a good relationship. You see what I'm saying? Okay. This show has been brought to you by The Red Couch. The Red Couch is for sale if you guys are interested in buying The Red Couch. But it's been brought to you by The Red Couch. Continue. Men and women should have equal responsibility for raising children. Oh, I totally agree. Who are you to be a, a man and who are you to be a woman and say, I must give 70 and you got to give 30? 50-50 hmm. when it comes exactly, down to Exactly, because you put your thing on and I put my thing on and the thing on and the thing on come together and it made this child so... Ain't no, ain't none of that. Ain't no type of body. Ain't that kind of body. Okay, cool. To what extent do you agree with the following statements? Hitting a girl is worse than slapping a boy. I believe that it's the same. Boys just have tough skin because they raise differently. They raise, I feel like they raise more violently. I ain't gonna lie because I feel like parents, 
They're, so what they're boy, made a boy quicker what, than What about the boys that are fishes, that, that are raised as queers, that you can see their queers? Man, I'm a bad man, I'm not friend fish. What well, if I got friend on me, I got end fish? As a person, I feel like we have to respect people's differentialities. You okay. see what I'm saying? So you should say, so, I should, I should, so I should what, not... But somebody so a queer is, boy, I should be the queer boy like a girl and, and be the rough boy no, like a rough boy? No, equality. It doesn't matter what gender you are or nothing. You shouldn't be the child on the whole. That's the whole point. I know. Well, if you do wrong, then you got to sing but the wrong song. But if you're beating them, I feel like if you, because it wouldn't be me, I feel like it should be equal. Okay. I really, you know, believe in equality. Okay, understandable. I agree with you on that. A parent has the right to discipline their child in any day, way they believe is right. Correct. That's your child. Discipline them how you want to discipline Even them. Even beating them with extension cords? No, it, no, you like can't, that? you can I cannot go up to you and tell you, don't Artists. do that to your child. That's the point of the statement. Okay, okay. Which is true. No one has the right to tell a parent how to raise a child. Correct. Okay. Correct. People could give their advice and opinion, but that's your child. If you want to knock your child head off, then cool. Not on you. I bond as a, a bedroom parent bully. who does not punish their child when they misbehave is not a good parent. I totally agree. Well, I would not say that they're not a good parent, but I think that they're doing something wrong. And why, why I say punish, the word is punish, not beat. Punishment comes in many forms. I agree. So punishment could literally, like I say, be telling them, go on a corner. You have to let a child know what is right and what is wrong in order for them to meet your expectations. If I just slap your head off and don't tell you what you do wrong, how could I expect you to not do it again? Agree. See they saying? Are you a parent or I'll respond no, okay, no. Please answer the following questions. What is the sex of the child? I don't have no child. What are you talking about? This conversation is being brought to you by the red couch. The red couch is for sale okay, if you this, plan this on is, buying it. This is, this but is. yeah. For today's show. At shows home growing up, good. did you experience, experience any physical punishments by your parents or guardian? Well, I, I did get cut up, and sometimes I was angry for the cut up that I got. Like, I thought it was in call four times, but then I still think it made me a better person because at a certain age, the cut up just stopped. And there was just one time I used to just get so sick of my old man yapping and going off that one day I just rebelled and I, 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 I ran away for about three days. You think that, that he didn't make you a better person? Really? You don't think or, I'm a better or, person? Or are you just saying that you may be a better person, but guess what? Oh. Beating probably had nothing to do with you being a better person. Literally. Okay, I'll shop then. Next. I have being real. Um, oh, I didn't answer the question. Did I? I mean, yeah. And I didn't like it. And it was mostly for nothing, literally. Yeah, that's how we feel at that time. No, it is the truth. It was mostly for nothing. Okay. I don't want to... Disclose that information. Okay. So, yeah, they on don't the need media, to know that. Yes, but it was for nothing, according yeah. to you. Okay. But if you ask the person that was disciplined, they said it was for something. So yeah. No, it wasn't. Okay, cool. How were you typically punished at a home when a child? I was given extra chores, shouted out, hit with a hand, or never punish. I was beaten with belts. Come here, black boy. I, was I can tell you. With sticks. Whoa! Cause I I from the island, sticks and broomsticks, extension and cords, like the broomsticks and sticks Seriously? from trees, a high heel shoe. How could you beat this innocent looking thing, poor baby? I literally, literally, for no reason. I think I got beaten one time for wanting a soda or something. Yeah. From your mother? No. Oh. I never really grew okay. up with my mother. If okay. Really. Okay. When a child Moving on. were you? Typically punish at home by being hit with an object. Object, yes. Belts, hangers. I, w I watched one time I get slapped across the dinner table. I never forget that from my mother. Yeah, I get it. I get slapped from. My I wonder when she get old if I could just slap and tell her I, I catch in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's why plenty of people is do that to their parents when they are old and disabled. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. Over. But what object were you most usually hit? Belt. What is your age group? What's my age group that I am now? Oh, never mind. They don't need to know that you're 80. Yeah, 85. What is the... Uh, okay, I'll ask them too much questions. I don't relate to this. 
This show has been brought to you by The Red Couch. Yes, by the way, The Red Couch is for sale if you're interested in buying it. The Red Couch. The show has been brought to you by The Red Couch. And we're chilling on The Red Couch, me and Gosh. Davey. And this is going to be a fantastic show. I know you're going to laugh because I did a lot of stupidness. Like putting the Gucci shoes so on my overall, head. Giving her looks like... Overall, I know y'all might say that my, my opinion is biased. But that's just my opinion. I don't believe in corporal punishment. And I know that it doesn't work. So that's just my belief. And y'all have a great day. And I know how to balance this Gucci shoe on my head because I know how to balance, 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 balance. Bye. Peace.